division matchup. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center John line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting and out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, five losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, the Enforcer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A boxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Big Daddy! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready to go for round one, and this young man's popularity absolutely soared on the strength of what he did his last time out. It was a win by flush knockout, kept his winning streak intact with style points, and now the challenges get decidedly more tougher. We'll see if he can keep the momentum going in what is unquestionably the biggest spot of his UFC career. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh! Spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice. They're certainly getting after it early. Circling towards the left now. Big kick lands. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, 
Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up, so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. That's a big strike right there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's not a guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Got to be careful, Armbar. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. What are you doing out there? Let's shake it off. We need to do it. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. Oh, that's the biggest shot of the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it. Wow! Dude's oh, hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Both of these guys going all out. Oh! Spinning back fist is there. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Beautiful strike. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Real quick leg kick. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Great punch landed with so much power. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh! Oh, it's over. Performance. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the enforcer. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And it's got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.
Danger excites me. But I can't fully enjoy it when I smell like fear and body odor. And when you smell like Old Spice Danger Zone, trust me, you'll smell like you have nothing to worry about. You smell like you look amazing. Amazing, I know. Introducing Old Spice Danger Zone with all-day odor protection. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Feed me more. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the Oh, 110 percent. He can do everything inside the optimum. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If he dare stand and strike him, he cannot go out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a good champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures it. Oh, it's up. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish the fight. So he'll find his box. He, he doesn't waste time with head to chest, just punches. He finds caution. Once he finds caution, he can get momentum to land the big strike, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent's face well. She dies on split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and ground. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. Let's see how it goes tonight. Now our tale of the day for this light heavyweight fight. Anderson is four years his senior. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 190 pounds. El Presidente! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of 17 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Corey Anderson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? His opponent would be wise to get the guard up here early. This man has won his last three fights, all of them by flush knockouts. Each knockout more impressive than the last. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this. Yeah, he's fixed it all up. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times to the face. And everything's landing with so much power. Wow. Anderson gets the double leg takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to lay down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's 
not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Lance with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. On the shot. There you go, single leg. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Let's go. And both guys really throwing with authority. Takedown land, and now another takedown land. Nice hammer fist. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect play. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. But just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and marks right through it to get the knock. My DC, no telestrator tonight. We're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance today. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He's in every bit of his skill to get the job done.